Hey guys, it's Joe from PocketNow.com with another Android Quick Tip. Okay, so what we've got here is my Nexus One and I'm running Android 2.2 and like you saw in a previous video, I'm running the Zune Launcher or the Zune Home app on my screen as my home app. And it's really kind of cool. I showed you a video about that before. Uh, stay tuned to the end of the video and I'll give you a link over to the Zune one just in case you missed that. But you know what? I decided I don't want to use this all the time just because. But I can't just hit home and go back to my old launcher, my stock default launcher, which in my case I, I kind of partial to Launcher Pro. So how do I fix that? Well, the answer is not all that simple. There are two ways to do that. If you're running Android 2.2, you have to reset your defaults. That's a little bit involved, so I'll get to that in just a minute. If you're running less than Android 2.2, so 2.1 and below, there's an app you can download from the marketplace. And let me come down here and show it to you. And it's really, really convenient. It's called Home Selector. So just go to the market and look for Home Selector. And what this does is it lets you come in and select what app you want to use for your home screen. You tap it, you hit OK, and you're done. Now that's not going to work all the time for Android 2.2 because with Android 2.2 they change the way that they're doing things uh, and it's really kind of interesting. Now you have what are called notions and those are basically default ways to handle stuff. Is that ambiguous enough for everybody? So if you tap on say uh, an email link it will open up your default email program, which could be Gmail, it could be Canine Mail, it could be Inbox, it could be any number of email apps, but it's only going to be one default. Same thing with browser. Browser could be uh, your default browser, it could be Dolphin, it could be Fennec, it could be any number of other things. Uh, or, in this case, we're talking about launchers, so your default launcher could be Launcher Pro, it could be Zune Home, it could be ADW, it could be all kinds of stuff. So how do we change the default apps? And that's really what this tutorial is all about. So if we go in here to Settings, into the System Settings, and down into Applications, we can then manage our applications, which includes the defaults. You'll want to make sure that you select all and not just what you downloaded. If you want to change stuff that you downloaded, for example, that is over here and all this does is it filters the list. If you're trying to switch between something that came pre-installed on the device, you'd want to use all. For example, here's ADW Launcher, which I didn't download. It came installed with my ROM, so I wouldn't be able to see that and download it. I'd have to use this over here. But what we want to do in this example is to come all the way down to the bottom and we are going to find our Zune Home. And like I said, way down at the bottom. So right there, we open up Zune Home and you'll see right here it says launch by default. You've selected to launch this application by default for some actions, like pressing the home button. Well, I don't want that anymore, so I'm going to clear that default. And just like that, I'm done. Next time I hit home, it comes up and says, how do you want to complete this action? Pick one of your launchers. So let's say I want to switch over to that Acer launcher. I tap that, and I'm good. But I didn't set that as my default. So the next time I hit home, it's going to bring that up again until I put a check in that box to use that as the default action. Now you do have to select that first before you tap one of those. So do the same thing for your browser, for your email, for whatever. You can go ahead and clear defaults. It's not as easy to get to as I'd like it to be, but now you can go in and easily make that change. If you have any questions or comments on that, please leave those down at the bottom of the article or the video. If you like these Android quick tips, give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to the YouTube video channel already, do that now. And head on over to PocketNow.com to read our articles that don't have videos associated with them. So, for PocketNow, I'm Joe Levi.